Okay, thank you very much. Um, yes, um, I would like, of course, first to thank uh, Pascal Cossard, Michel Delsini, and uh, Bernard Dujon for having given me this opportunity uh, to tell you about actually what we have been uh, learning recently by studying, by investiga investigating immune interaction with uh, with the, uh, uh, insect intracellular bacteria. Um, so as you know, uh, symbiosis, as coined first by Dubarry, uh, is an association between two or more organisms from different species. And uh, uh, since uh, 1879, uh, uh, this uh, concept has uh, experienced different uh, definition, uh, a patchwork of definition, uh, refining, and even uh, uh, mostly tendency to the mutualistic notion. Uh, and uh, today, uh, uh, all biologists agree, however, to place uh, some biases in a continuum of interaction ranging from parasitism to mutualism. Same as actually cohabitation must encompass uh, different social and political views, uh, both enthusiastic and non-enthusiastic. Um, so uh, the, uh, the, some, the symbiosis is actually widespread in nature and basically, there is no organism living on this earth with only one genome. Um, it can be terrestrial, it can be pelagic, as was shown previously, and even in extreme aphotic environments. And it also occurs at different level of uh, integration. It could be extra organismal for here for uh, uh, what we call ectosymbiosis, intra-organismal for both gut microbiota, but also intracellular bacteria in plant and invertebrates, but also it could be organogenetic, which is the case of mitochondria and, uh, and, uh, and plastid. So just from this simple view, we can assume that we can trust that cohabitation is fundamental in life and that some biases must uh, be one of the most important eng engine in, 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 in life evolution. But however, this concept has uh, took a long to be admitted by, uh, by scientists for some biases. And as you know, cohabitation is still a matter of a huge controversial in our society. So, Briefly, uh, uh, symbiogenesis, which is uh, which uh, which explains the origin of eukaryotic cell from merging prokaryotes, has been articulated first by uh, by uh, uh, Constant, uh, Constantino Merzhovsky in 1910, and the French uh, Paul Potier has published in 1918 a book named. Le symbiote, where he claimed at first time that mitochondria come from symbiosis process. And in 1924, the Russian botanist, the Russian botanist Boris Kozopolyansky has explained some on the symbiogenesis in terms of Darwinian evolution. But since that time, this concept has been ignored and dismissed for about half of a century till the work of uh, Lynn Margulis uh, that uh, has provided microbiological evidence uh, strengthening there, thereby the, the concept of symbiogenesis. Um, uh, so uh, I, I would like here to uh, pay tribute to Lynn Margulis uh, uh, for her tenacity to push forward this theory um, and to uh, 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 and to strengthen the theory, actually she uh, she has fighting against uh, 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 a lot of uh, uh, with uh, some controversial uh, 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 authors, and she f finally renamed this theory as serial on the symbiotic uh, on the symbiotic theory. So today. We reach the, uh, the adequacy between some biogenesis and the prevailing neo-Darwinian concept of evolution in that most of the biologists agree, are aware that 
uh, uh, hereditary endosymbiosis is supplemented by the gradual accumulation of heritable mutation result in the origin of species and morphological, uh, morphological novelty. Actually, my team is interested on, on this, morphological, uh, this morphological structure, and this, uh, 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 we are interested on this structure in the world of insects. Insects that live, that live on nutritionally uh, imbalanced habitat have actually evolved intracellular symbiosis with bacteria uh, that complement their diets and thereby they increase uh, they increase the host I, I miss always they increase the host adaptive uh, traits and invasive ab abilities. Those insects have succeeded to maintain these bacteria and transmit them from one generation to the other thanks of this uh, compartmentalization strategy that consists to isolate the bacteria here in green within specific cell uh, called the bacteriocyte as you, you see here. So we have been interested to, uh, to understand what are the immune mechanisms that permit the, the perception of the, the bacteria and how the immune responses are regulated to uh, maintain and control this bacteria. And this work was mostly done on the serial weevil Cetophilus association with the endosymbiont Sodalis pierontonus for mainly two reasons. The first one, the first reason is that the weevil housed one endosymbiont only. Believe me, they don't have even not gut microbiota, at least the strain that are living in our lab. And more importantly, the bacteria are pleomorphic, as you see here, with different lengths of the bacteria. So this is a, a, an attribute, actually, of some bacteria that alter their shape and size when they are in such a, a specific environmental condition. And the ser second reason why we have chosen this model is that the endosymbiont cell dynamic and density undergo a contrasted change across the host life, which presumes, actually, the occurrence of some regulatory function within uh, these, uh, these, these cells. So uh, briefly and rapidly, the endosymbiont live permanently, infect permanently the oocyte from which it is transmitted the embryo, and early on embryogenesis, it differentiates these cells called the bacteria cell that in weevils form an organ that we call the bacterium here that is attached to the gut. And, sorry. And uh, during all the larval stages, there is no a huge uh, increase in the bacterial amount. That's for why we design the larval stage as homeostasic with regard to symbiosis. However, once the, 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 the metamorphosis starts in nymphy, the, this bacterium dissociates and the bacteriocytes start to, mig uh, to, to migrate uh, 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 back to the, the, the mid-gut, and as you, you see here, the bactericide cell program changed. They become uh, spindle-like cells, which help them to move back and, and to settle in, in the young adult, many, many uh, uh, small bacterium at, at the mesenteric CK. In uh, in emerging adult, the, the amount of ba the load of the bacteria increased drastically in the first week after emerging, uh, uh, emergence. Then it collapsed in two weeks after the emergence, which is a very contrasted, uh, uh, contrasted uh, dynamic. So uh, our question of interest are mostly two. We try to unravel the host immune system mechanism involved in the bacterium homeostasis at, at the larval stage, and we, uh, we are uh, uh, attempting to understand, to, to, to decipher the mechanism uh, behind this contrasted dynamic to see whether this contrasted uh, dynamic of the symbiote fit with, with uh, physiological demand of, of, of the host. So this work uh, started early during the PhD program of Caroline Anselm that showed with a trans transcriptomic uh, approach that two, I mean, two contrasted uh, uh, response. First, uh, we have 
a down regulation of most of antimicrobial peptide in this bacterium. And second, there is only one antimicrobial peptide called the coleopterosin A that is upregulated in the bacteria. So the raising question is first, how this IMP uh, differential expression in the bacterium is regulated? And second, what is the rationale of call A being highly expressed in the bacterium? For the first question, actually, Florent Masson, during his PhD, he first ruled out the possibility that, I'm Mediterranean, sorry, uh, <laughs> uh, ruled out the possibility that uh, the, the, the immune, uh, sorry, the possibility that the immune response in the bacterium is immunodepressed. How he did, he just injects gram-negative or gram-positive bacteria into the hemolymph, isolate the bacterium, and quantify the antimicrobial genes, uh, antimicrobial peptide encoding genes. So, uh, Florent showed that cis uh, there is, we have a system, this, that the systemic infection has resulted in the induction of all antimicrobial peptide within the bacterium, including all col A, col B, cecropine, etc., cetera, etc., cetera. and this, of course, demonstrates actually that the bacterium is not is not immunodepressed, but uh, instead it is immunoreactive. Uh, and during recently, uh, uh, in the frame of Justin Mer PhD program, uh, Justin has shown that all uh, IMP, that, that uh, uh, all weevil antimicrobial peptide are expressed by only one pathway, which is the IMD pathway. IMD pathway was, uh, was identified, was demonstrated, described first on Drosophila by the group of Girofman and Bruno Lemaitre that shows that uh, uh, it involves different protein, including the receptor PGRP-LC, IMD protein, and the, 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 the transcriptional factor Lulish that help to uh, uh, express the, uh, the antimicrobial peptide. Justin has demonstrated that all, that all IMPs are, uh, are IMD depending by injecting double-stranded RNA for these two proteins, both uh, IMD and Relish, and after six days, either he injects PBS for control or the uh, TCT, tracheal cytotoxin, which is a peptidoglycan actually that trigger immune response. And after six hours, again, he dissects the bacterium and he quantify the expression of antimicrobial peptide. And this work has resulted in this conclusion that both basal and TCT-induced IMP expression are IMD, IMD dependent. Here, this is, this is the basal expression in the bacterium. Uh, RNA I treatment resulted in, in significant decrease of the antimicrobial peptide. And here, this is the situation of infection. As I said before, when we infect the, the insect with, with, with TCT or bacteria, uh, we have a, 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 an upregulation of antimicrobial peptide that is uh, uh, returned to zero almost after treating with RNA. So this, um, this uh, study actually has finally uh, demonstrated that IMP differential gene expression in the bacterium may result rather from other mechanisms including non-RNA uh, regulation and epigenetic mass. This uh, project is currently under investigation uh, within, within my team. So uh, as a summary of this first part, you can tell that the bacterium expresses a separate immune response against symbiont and pathogen. And at physiological state with only intracellular bacteria, all antimicrobial peptides are downregulated, probably, presumably, to help maintaining the endosymbionts, while the bacterium retain the ability to fight against microbe intruders following insect infection by inducing all antimicrobial peptide genes, including coleopterosin A. Uh, uh, also, and this may help to protect the, both the bacterium actually and the symbiont against microbe intruders. For the rationale of coleopterosin A upregulation in the bacterium, we have um, 
sorry. This is the work was done by Frédéric Lojan that first he has, uh, he was postdoc in my team, that he first expressed the coleopteracin A in uh, heterologous system and he test uh, its biochemical, uh, uh, its property against gram-negative, gram-positive bacteria and fungi hand. And here I show you that coleopteracin A has both bacteriostatic at low and bactericidal at high concentration. And when we incubate E. coli actually with coli A at this uh, bacteriostatic concentration. Uh, the E. coli became bigger and bigger, filamentous, same as I just showed you uh, uh, in the case of uh, of, of on the symbiont within, within the bactericide. So to uh, test, uh, to figure out whether coli A is actually responsible of this polymorphism, we have again used RNAi to inhibit call A expression and to follow and to monitor with cytometry the size and granularity of the endosymbiont. And as you see here between the control and the RNA treatment, the bacteria after call A RNAi become smaller and smaller. And which is interesting is that uh, uh, this phenotype appear to, uh, to give to the, to the bacteria another physiology that help the bacteria to, this is the control and this is the treated, to help the bacteria exciting the bacterium, the bacteriocyte, and to infect the, 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 the surrounding tissue of, of, of the larvae. So we must conclude from this work that coleoptericin A keeps on the symbiont under control within the bacteriocyte. Whether this function is the result of call A gene shaping uh, during the long term of host symbiont coevolution is currently under, currently under investigation. And so far, I'm going to tell you quickly some data that are in favor of coleoptericin A diversions. Yeah, we, I must precise that uh, uh, actually there are two representative genes of coleopteracin in, in coleopteran, call A and call B, which ha that have uh, ha uh, important similarity between call A and, and call B. And the first data in favor of call A divergence is that call A and call B are differentially expressed in the bacterium, while call A is highly expressed, call B does not, uh, is not induced. The second point in favor of uh, call A divergence is that call A and call B have different biochem biochemical properties against gram-negative bacteria. As I showed you before, call A inhibits cell division and generate gigantic bacteria, but call B does not. And the third point, which is actually in relation with this property, is that call A and call B do not have the same bacterial target. Call A and call B target, of course, common bacterial uh, substrate, like whatever, uh, uh, the outer mammal pro protein C, gene involved in, 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 in translation. But what is important is that call A, but not call B, interact with the chaperone groyel. So we have showed further that um, uh, we have showed further that call A actually does enter the bacterial, the bacterial cytosol, inhibit the groyal chaperone activity by interacting with this protein, hamper the bacterial cell cyto cytokinesis and gen generate a, a gigantist, uh, uh, gigantic polyploid, polyploid, I insist on that, uh, on the symbiont cells, which help the endosymbiont uh, to be secluded in the bacteriocyte while, which is important uh, at the evolutionary point of view, while maintaining high endosymbiotic metabolic activity actually related to the, 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 uh, the polyploidy uh, of, of, of the bacteria. Okay, uh, the last lesson we learned from, excuse me, the last lesson we learned, we learned from this model came, came from the analysis of insect metamorphosis. As you know, insect metamorphosis is a process 
does, uh, that involve melanization, the process of melanization that help the insect, and particularly coleopterans, you know coleopterans are hard, very hard catechol, help the coleopterans to build up their catechol after metamorphosis as you see, uh, as you see here. So this process uh, uh, engage uh, a, uh, a lot of metabolic pathway, and more particularly, the, the amino acid phenylalanine and thyrosine that help the insect to build up the, the catechol. And as you, as you know, uh, uh, more quicker the catechol is built, more competitive the insect is uh, on the wild. So this work has been done in the frame of uh, uh, Aurelia and Vigneron uh, PhD program that actually shows very quickly that insect recycle on the symbiont when the benefit is over. How he did this? He monitored the by qRT-PCR by PCR just qPCR and 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 cell imaging, uh, and he showed that uh, during the first week after uh, adult emergence, the bacterial density increased drastically, and after the first week, this density decreased dramatically. To, and the bacteria is eliminated at, uh, for, uh, uh, at uh, day 14, while we know that we will live at least six months in the lab. So uh, further, um, Aurelia Vinoro has shown that this bacterial increase during the first week help the insect to, uh, uh, to be complemented, actually, to have mm, huge amount of thyrosine and phenylalanine which help the insect to build up the catechol and when once the catechol is finished is formed the uh, the endosymbiont is completely is completely eliminated and which is interesting this symbiont elimination does not occur through uh, the 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 innate immunity uh, in that the, the the process is not inflammatory uh, i mean during this process during this uh, this uh, maturation with the exception of call A, which expression parallel more or less the, the density of endosymbiont, all the other peptides remain down-regulated during, the, during their process. And more interestingly, genes that are known as a negative regulator of the IMD pathway are induced in symbiotic versus a postsymbiotic insect, attesting that this process of IMP down-regulation should be active and that the, uh, elimin the endosymbiont are not eliminated through a local immunity uh, and IMP, uh, antimicrobial peptide, um, um, anti peptide synthesis. Rather, this process engage a more cleaner process, which is apoptosis. Here is apo aposymbiotic insect. Here is symbiotic insect. This is the gut. And the green color show, show the occurrence of apoptotic cell in day seven. And it, at day 11, uh, all, almost all the bacteria are eliminated. Apoptosis associated with autophagy. At diff we, in the bacterium, we have shown different figure like that at different state. And the ultimate one is this one, which represents the lamellar body. And it is the ultimate stage of, of, of recycling in that the insect does not th uh, kick away through, uh, throw out uh, the bacteria, but uh, it, it recycles the product uh, for, uh, um, for other uh, physiological purposes. So for the summary of this part, you can tell that insect on the control, the endosymbiont load according to their physiological need. We believe that during this, uh, uh, this uh, 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 critical phase of, of maturation, uh, there is some uh, 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 intricate interaction between the metabolic state of the, of the insect the host need and the endosymbiont uh, physiology. This end up with uh, a signaling, telling, uh, uh, or either permitting the endosymbiont to proliferate or at the, at the opposite, uh, uh, decreasing the, the, the density of the endosymbiont. We believe that this phenomena help first uh, uh, increasing host performance at critical phases of development, which is, for instance, the adult, uh, adult emergence while preserving, surveying, mutualistic trade-off and adjusting the cost and the benefit of on the some base. Okay, uh, uh, for uh, at the end, uh, the, go, the whole message is uh, as following. Can tell the bacterium immunity is selective 
and expresses an immune effector that favor host homeostasis and endosymbiont control. The, the modulation, the mechanism of immune modul modulation and differential expression of effectors in the bacterium may rather result from a limited number of transcriptional factor from non-coding RNA re regulation or from epigenetic marks, as I told you, we are uh, interested on this uh, currently. And finally, we can, of course, uh, uh, conclude that host on the symbiont co-evolution has shaped the mechanism that adjusts symbiont load to the, to the need of the host, hence ensuring a fine-turned integration of symbiosis cost and benefit, still allowing a return of investment through natural symbiont recycling. And with that, I would like to thank, of course, my team uh, and the, the former uh, people that are still working in the team, uh, the former uh, uh, PhD student, of course, and uh, 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 thank different program of INR, INSA, INA, etc., to support this work. And I would like to thank you for attention. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, we can handle questions now. Yes, please. Um, thanks for the nice talk. I really enjoyed that. Um, I, I wonder, because coal A is, is secreted by the insect cells, and GROAL is secreted by the bacteria. So how do the two meet? Yeah, uh, yes, I, 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 as I stated, the, actually the, the core air, as you said, is expressed by the, the immune system of the host, and it, it enters actually to the bacterium. We have shown, yeah. I didn't show the picture here, but with electron microscopy, we have shown that coleoptericin A enter into the, 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 the cell, uh, uh, the cytosol of the bacteria, and with, with, with uh, the uh, overlay experiment we have, uh, demonstrated that uh, core A interact, do interact with Gruyel, both the Gruyel of, of the endosymbiont and the Gruyel of E. coli. And uh, moreover, we know that Gruyel is one of the most important protein for endosymbiont. Uh, we have no time to enter into detail. We can talk about this after. And uh, we know that uh, Gruyel, by interacting with, 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 with other protein like FTEZ, etc., is involved in cell division. So okay. we believe that through the, the, the interaction between core A and GROYEL, we have uh, this uh, inhibition of, of, of uh, cell cytokinesis. Okay. Yes, please. Um, so I, I think I, I, I probably missed this from the beginning of your talk when you, when you mentioned so the localization of the microbiome. I, so it wasn't. So you have the endosymbionts, and you have what you're calling microbiome. Uh, what? Where is the? Mic I, 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 it's not in the gut. You no, I tell it very quickly. Actually, we 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 are actually uh, 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 surprised to don't meet any 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 bacteria in the gut of weevils. Uh, I precise that uh, only uh, we didn't test w w wild type weevils, but the, uh, for, for for the weevils that are living in the lab condition, they are free of endosymbiont. Oh, oh, sorry, of, of oh, gut microbiota. Yeah, but then you are looking at the response. When you say you're looking at the response of the microbiome and, and the immunity, you are adding microbes. Are you we thinking? are injecting microbes into the hemolymph, not in the gut. And so this, this microbes... And this is to just to see. Uh, uh, yes, just to see, of course, uh, we know that the, the immune system of weevil is very reactive. But the, the question was to see whether the bacterium uh, that is, of course, in contact with the emolent perceive uh, extracellular in, intruders. Yes, yeah, so this and is, it these does. are intruders, right? Yeah, this yes, they are intruders. Okay. Sorry, I'm... A comment by Pascal Cosson. No, no, it's not a comment, it's a question. These bactericides, what is at the surface, at the limit? You have this group of bacteria, and uh, is there some kind of... Uh, of material, of matrix, like when you have biofilms, or? Yes, we, uh, actually there is a matrix, uh, uh, since Paul Nardo, we didn't touch to, to this to this question, but Nardo was uh, describing uh, some component uh, between between the bacteria. Uh, mostly um, polysaccharide, mycopolysaccharide. But they are formed when the bacteria are forming these bacterocytes. So when yes, you have this called a protein, it has to go through this matrix to get 
inside the bacterium? No, the, no, no. The, the, the matrix is outside the bacteriocyte. Yeah, yeah, is but, uh, but still, if you have the production of the insect protein to go in the bacteria, then this protein has to go through this kind no. of matrix? No, no, the, the, uh, at physiological, at standard condition, the, 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 the endosymbiont remain intracellular, and the, the expression of col A for antibacterial peptide are intracellular, okay. and they, they go straight to, to, the, to the endosymbiont inside. And, uh, we have even uh, the hypothesis that they, you take one uh, outer membrane protein that helps them to go in, in, inside the, the, the bacteria. Uh, 